Welcome back to another Music Marketing Wednesday, and today's topic is email marketing, specifically AWeber, is what I've been using since the start, and there's been no reason to switch, so I've stuck with it. What this is, though, is going to be an overview. I'm going to show you the basics of the site and what I use from the site and how I use it, and in the future, if you guys have any questions or anything, comment down below and then we'll make a video on each specific area to get more in depth and help you guys out. But for now, I'm sure not many of you guys have an email list and they do wonders because yeah, a social media follower is one thing, but when you get them on your email list, you can get more personal with them and it's, uh, you know, they don't have to be online to engage with you. You know, everyone checks their emails, at least I think everyone checks their emails. Um, but, you know, some people are going to put in some fake emails or spam emails so they can just get their stuff and then never read anything you post. It is what it is. That's Some people do that. But there's ways you could clean them up and stuff like that in the future. But AWeber. Okay, so you just log in and you don't know what to do. Well, you got to make a current list. And, you know, you have different lists for different things. You know, it depends on what you like, depends on which email list you're going to join. But producer leads is my main one, you know, that's where my main focus is and everything else is just kind of set up to capture people who want to do that stuff. But this is my main hustle right here it is the producer leads, Terran info, that stuff. So for those of you that are already on, you know, you get the weekly email and this gives me the stats of who opened it, how many clicked. Um, See, the, the bounces are getting higher, which means there's less emails that are like, they just put fake emails in and whatnot. So I'll go through and clean those up to get these back down to zero. But I usually wait like, you know, two to three months before I do it, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> and they, they say wait like six months or nine months or something before you really clean up your email list. Because, you know, maybe someone just subscribe to you because in the future they want your content, but right now they can't or they're busy. So everything just gets piled in their email. And then all of a sudden when they're, you know, they're on vacation or whatever, they, they indulge in your stuff. And if you were to take them off the list, it's, it would have been too late and maybe they forgot about you. Who knows? But anyways, don't sit here religiously and clean up your list every single day. It is annoying that you do. Once you get past a certain limit, you have to pay a little more. And it, those people could be the difference between, you know, the price brackets, but it is what it is. You know, it's when you're starting a business, costs are going to come in and the less annoyed you could be about them and make them work in your favor and just be able to deal with them, the better off you are. Okay, so you made your list, okay? What you're going to do first is um, create a follow-up series. This would be the main reason you want to start a list is because they're going to come into your list. But instead of you, you know, sending random emails, you need to get like a educational program and just like maybe some surveys and get to know your list. And that's why I made this follow up series. So if you look, they get no emails on Sundays. Because that's when I send the Sunday email, you know, but these are reminders. So, you know, those could go on any days, but these are all like learning topics. So I don't want to send them on Sunday when I'm sending them the week's videos, because then that's just most likely they're going to overlook this. But each one's like a topic, you know, this is like me introducing myself and giving them some free stuff. This is more free stuff for them. This is me trying to get a survey from them. More tips, more tips, more tips, more tips, a little video, which is still training tips. And then, you know, just a reminder, hey, look, you guys have a 25% off code. If you're thinking of getting something, don't forget to use this, you know, save 25% off. Don't pay full price. I put that out. But as you can see, that one's like, you know, a week after this one. So it's not like I'm just every day throwing them something, you know, this is every three days. And then if I'm going to like pitch them something, you know, I'm going to back off a little bit. So it's not like I'm sending them stuff every single day. And then again, another another survey but a little differently and a little different um the way you this one is and the way the first one is right here uh different topics different questions and stuff so 
I put this one last because I really want them to go through my entire follow-up series. I want them to be familiar with our YouTube channel and all that stuff before they answer these questions. Whereas these are more about them, like what kind of music you make, what do you know, what don't you know, stuff like that. So that's stuff to think about. And I made these on Google Forms, which we'll make videos in the future on that stuff. But all you need to know is these are follow-up emails and they automatically send out the time someone um, joins. So if they join, it's getting sent immediately. And this one's going to get sent shortly after that first one. And then whenever they join, three days later, they're going to get this one, but not on Sundays. So if third day happens to land on Sunday, they're going to get it Monday. And then, you know, you could see the percentage opens. And obviously, the first few are going to be really high because that's what they want, the free stuff, you know. And then it's going to dwindle down, and these are going to be your more serious followers and stuff that are actually going to support you, that are actually there to learn and really love what you're doing. So as you can see, high end of people who want free stuff. There's also people who enter fake emails <laughs> so or the emails they don't use, so they never even open them. And then, yeah, and then you see about halfway after the survey, they start dwindling down. And then about right here, the mix down tips, I hit the rock bottom. And you can tell this is about 11% is where I'm going to be the bare minimum. At least 11% of people are going to be opening every email. And then whatever, you know, mix down, I guess people don't like mix downs, but five types of music publishing, you know, people came back and they're like, okay, I like that. I like that compression. Everything's a remix that really got them. And then, you know, maybe people already, people already know about their code, so they just deleted it. They didn't open it. And then same with this. Maybe they thought it was the same same uh, questionnaire from there, so they just disregarded it. Or they people don't like giving their opinion, so they just deleted it. So that all adds up to stats, and you'll never have 100%. It's just the way things are even if i like a company i'm still gonna miss some of their emails and stuff so this is where you could uh, clean up your subscribers and stuff manage them and add them but if you want to clean them up and stuff what i do is uh date added you gotta go like before three months ago so if i added them three months ago and no opens then they're gonna get you know taken off the list and all the unsubscribed people, I also like to delete off the list too, just because, yeah, I could keep their emails and pitch to them, but you know what? They left. I'm not even going to hassle them. Just let them go on their own way. If they really are about what I am with the brand and stuff, they'll find their way back into it. So that's something to remind yourself when you're starting out is, you know, people are going to come and go, you know, don't, it's nothing against you, you know, it's either for them or it's not for them. And and if, unless every single person's unsubscribing, don't worry about it. But if everyone's coming in and leaving, you're obviously doing something wrong. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you see this, subscribe, subscribe, unscribe, subscribe, unscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's nothing, you know, that's nothing to worry about. You know, those are the people that just strictly came in for the free stuff and left. Or they thought something else and it's just not what they wanted. So, you know, just let them go. This is how I capture people, though. So there's two ways you can make a sign up form. One, you can embed it on the site, which I will show you, hopefully, quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, I was working on the website, <laughs> so it's a, a very high, like, I don't even know what it is, HTML, Flash, whatever, so the loading is a little slower, but I, I mean, it looks so cool now, the, the logo, instead of like scrolling up, it goes in the background. So this is what I'm talking about. Well, that's one email sign up. That's part of the website though. And that website, I have to import those emails into AWeber. It's not automatic. But what is automatic is, why is this video not existing? No! Anyways, gain access to this preset. They're going to click this, boom, name, email, they're going to get tips, tricks, presets, samples, and more. That is one way to do it, where AWeber holds the form, you know, and it's external. And that's where I put all my YouTube uh, links, you know, they, it brings them to this page to claim now. But 
I know not on this one, obviously, because that one was all jacked up. But I'm pretty sure on this one, I added a, an actual form built in. Yeah, so you could also embed the forms and be like, hey, tell me where to send your free training, free presets, free samples, and 50 chord progression chart. Name, email, boom, send now. And that's why I like Aweber. Again, there's many other things that, or many other sites that can do the same thing, but I never had a problem with something that Aweber couldn't do that something else can. So far, you know, everything I could ever ask for in an email list is here. And also, you want to do like different ones for different things. As you can see, the, the blog post. And that way, you can see your conversion rates and see where people are really um, joining. So this is like the web form, SoundCloud sidebar. It says, hey, free stuff. Click here. It has a high return. Tarrant record sounds form, which is, uh, I think, my original one. And learning interest, I think, is the YouTube one, I believe. So you could see which one is popular, which one has the highest conversion. Maybe you word them differently, and maybe that's why the conversion is higher. So maybe you take these words and put them on the other ones to increase the inversions. Or maybe they're just, it's a form that's like off on the side. You know, people see it. Not everyone's going to join it. Like the blog post ones. It's very low. Not everyone, most of the people who are in my blog post are already part of it, you know. So they're going to see it and not sign up. Plus, I don't really promote my blog posts that much. They're just kind of there for people who want to dive in and get more information out of us. But that that's the basics. Like after that, you really don't need to do anything else. The only thing I want to show you guys right now is broadcasts. And that's um that's how I send you guys those weekly things. So I could type this email, get the link set up, but then I'll broadcast it, you know, Sunday at 7 a.m., even though today's Friday. That way I don't have to be there right at 7 a.m. to click send and type this email for you. It's already done. Once I have all the videos recorded and edited and scheduled, I put that up and then, you know, everyone knows Sunday at 7 a.m. Unless I skip, you're going to get a little later. But for the most part, every Sunday at 7 a.m., that email comes to you for the weekly roundup. And again, you know, you see your stats and stuff. But you could also send broadcast live times. You don't have to schedule them. You know, if I say, let's have a flash sale, you know, 50% off entire store for the next 24 hours. I'm going to type that and broadcast it out to the entire list. Maybe my other lists that I, you know, been creating, if they're interested, if I think 50% off in my store will benefit them, I'll add those lists into to that broadcast and I'll send it out. And that's the way I've been doing it. And um, yeah, that's a Weber for you guys. I mean, if you're looking to grow your business, your music, your just anything, you need an email marketing list. Think of any big company. What do they have you on? How are they sending you advertising ads, um, new products, updates, newsletters, email? Everyone's doing it. And if you want to play with the big boys, you got to get in there because the more interaction you have with your actual fan base, the stronger it will become and the more likely they're going to want to support you. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss a video and you get notified. 7 a.m. every single day of the video we upload. That's education every day, free for everybody. And, and as always, thanks for watching. Peace.